what's going on guys willis here back with another destiny 2 video obviously before this video begins if you guys would like a chance to win this exclusive emblem on screen right now feel free to support the video with a like and obviously leave a comment down below but it's not required that's where i just picked the winners in this video guys we're going to be showing you probably the quickest way you can actually farm anarchy currently probably one of the best guns in the game but before we do quick word from one of our sponsors you're looking to go flawless in trials maybe it's still after the recluse or the highly sought after anarchy exotic you can get all of these and more thanks to our amazing new sponsor blazing boost they'll help you acquire all of these exotics legendaries and more they also do bundle packages so if you need weekly trials carries or maybe even weekly prophecy completions they'll get that for you too with over 5,000 reviews on trust pilot they are fully legit blazing boost have been highly supportive of my channel and i highly encourage you to click the link at the top of the video description for the best prices but yeah if you guys are not aware bungie made it so you can now pretty much farm any exotic from any of the new raids the exclusive i guess loot pool uh, of exotics um obviously they had like a weekly cooldown obviously you had to wait or unless you had three characters this isn't the case anymore you can pretty much keep farming these over and over again um i'm going to be showing you in this video how you can farm uh, the scourge raid which you actually get the anarchy from i know a lot of people still don't have the anarchy and this is by far the fastest way to farm the anarchy and yeah here's uh, what you want to do so obviously unfortunately if you're a solo player you will need to find a fire team i recommend jumping in the lfg destiny discord or you can also head over to my discord as well if you're looking to get the checkpoint i know a lot of people in my discord just have checkpoints where you don't actually have to run the entire thing because if you're not aware you can pretty much just get a checkpoint keep saving the checkpoint and then basically just keep repeating the boss you don't need to do the raid every time in its entirety get the checkpoint just save it on another character and then whenever you want to do another run obviously just switch characters obviously if you have a checkpoint to share let people know in the comment section let people know in discord discord.gg slash willis but yeah there's plenty of guides on how to do this boss but i guess i'll give you the quick rundown and a few tips to obviously speed this up there are obviously a lot of exploits and stuff you can do in the last encounter but yeah, I guess here's the safest ones you can do without the risk of Bungie just slapping you. So you can pretty much just two-man this entire encounter. Obviously, you will need a full team for the DPS. But what I mean by two-man is you can have two people just running around doing the main objective while the other four people literally just sit in the base and do nothing. It's so, so simple this way. So how it pretty much works is you obviously need to go find the special orbs which you dunk into the machines. Basically how we did it was we had pretty much the entire team just sit in the map room. We had one dude at the back of the map, so pretty much behind the boss, which was our guy shooting the weak points, which obviously stops the wipe mechanic. Obviously people in the map room are shooting the front of the boss, while the person at the back of the map is shooting the back of the boss. Now as long as everybody just has some sort of primary kinetic sniper, this shouldn't be a problem for your team. Just have everybody shoot weak points the other four people need to do now i guess the hardest part is the two people who are running around and this honestly isn't even the hardest part now obviously the people in the map room need to guide the two runners on where to go to get the orbs you obviously then send these two people to the room you obviously then take down the special ad which drops the two balls the map readers then relay the information to let them know where to go and then here's where the little trick comes in so obviously when you pick up a ball it will give you a debuff called ionize now there's actually a little sneaky spot in the back of the map you can stand to remove this buff this honestly just makes it easier and instead of having a bunch of people just run around you can have more people focus on weak points rather than everybody just running around crazy obviously just get two speedy people to just run around get the balls and just put them in where they need to go then people will then obviously go to the we just call it the cleansing spot where you remove the debuff this allows you to pick up more balls and then you just pretty much do this a few times obviously then get the tank stagger the boss and then begins the dps phase um i recommend for the highest dps use some sort of kinetic primary sniper and use the whisper of the whim if you have it obviously be sure you are spacing yourselves correctly so you aren't damaging other players with your cap buff like i said this is just a super quick rundown if you already know the encounter this is a few tricks you can actually use to help you farm this even faster now if you do it correctly you can pretty much one phase him as long as everyone's standing in the correct locations when the damage phase shifts doing this you can pretty much farm unlimited anarchies until the end of time 
And if you still don't have an anarchy, this is by far the fastest way, in my opinion, to farm this encounter. Obviously, there are a few other unscrupulous ways to do this encounter, which I don't recommend doing. But yeah, I guess I'll leave you guys with a quick kill we did earlier today. Go farm the anarchy. Um, literally, you can use it for just sharding if you have to as well. It's super good, especially if some of your friends don't have anarchy yet. Go do this now. It's a massive change that Bungie brought out and it's going to help a lot of people. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Be sure to turn on them bell notifications and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Guardian down. Guardian down. 